No one has to tell the Army about the advantages of helicopters. We pioneered the mass tactical employment of rotary wing aircraft. Today, helicopters routinely transport troops, provide logistic support, even retrieve other helicopters. Helicopters have also proven their value as gunships, providing close fire support for the man on the ground. But air mobility growth has emphasized the need for eyes. Increasingly, helicopters must act as scouts. This film will introduce the newest member of the Army's air mobile family, the OH-58A, a light observation helicopter called the Kiowa. Before joining the Army, the Kiowa series already had a long history of successful operations. A civilian version, known as the Jet Ranger, has been flying since 1966. Because of its dual FAA and military qualifications, it has been the most thoroughly tested light turbine-powered helicopter. It is currently in use in every continent of the world. In structural demonstrations performed by the Navy, the aircraft withstood hard landings at 650 feet per minute without airframe structural damage. Following extensive evaluations, the Navy selected it for use as their primary trainer, the TH-57A Sea Ranger. The Kiowa is a helicopter with a flight history of more than 150,000 hours. Universal acceptance and considerable experience precede its first Army mission. Let's get familiar with the aircraft by a quick walk around. The rotor is a simple, two-bladed, semi-rigid system. The all-metal, high-inertia rotor blades contain a honeycomb core. A cambered airfoil and scarfed tips reduce power requirements and improve rotor efficiency at high speeds. The simplified rotor hub is oil lubricated with four sight gauges. The entire inline drive system is above the fuselage. A sight gauge provides an easy, rapid way to check transmission fluid level. Access to the engine is good. The cowling was designed to facilitate daily inspection. The T-63 engine is already familiar to the Army because of its use in the OH-6. But the present model has two important differences. The OH-58A is qualified to use the full output of the engine and has a particle separator to filter engine inlet air. This separator will remove over 85% of sand and dust encountered in normal tactical operations. It has been successfully qualified under snow and ice conditions. The tail rotor drive shaft is exposed for easy inspection and has sealed bearings requiring no lubrication. Lamaflex couplings connect shaft sections. The single tail rotor gearbox is also equipped with a sight gauge. Rugged tail rotor blades of all metal construction have built-in feathering bearings. The pitch links require no adjustment and no lubrication, typical of the OH-58A's low maintenance design. The tail fin incorporates VHF and FM antennas. A fixed surface horizontal stabilizer maintains a level fuselage attitude from slow to maximum speed. Four big doors lead into the cabin. The Kiowa seats two people in the back seat with ample space for equipment. 40 cubic feet of volume will permit the assignment to light cargo transport missions. The compact instrument panel provides good VFR and tactical IFR capability. Communications are designed around the Slay solid state avionics package. Let's look at a typical Army mission. The first requirement for the OH-58A is the observation mission. For such a mission, the helicopter carries a pilot, an observer co-pilot, 200 pounds of mission equipment, 
and enough fuel for three hours of flight. Starting the engine brings out a good feature of the OH-58A. Because of the inline drive system and the engine mounting above and to the rear of the cabin, engine noise level is much lower than anticipated in small turbine helicopters of this class. Due to a unique pylon mounting system, vibration levels are also low, quiet and smooth. For the observation mission, the Kiowa features good visibility, adequate power, excellent handling qualities, and lots of rotor. Boost cyclic and collective controls give the pilot light and positive response for operating in confined areas. A force gradient trim system allows the pilot to trim the cyclic to zero force at any stick position. These features mean that more attention can be directed outside the cockpit and minimize pilot fatigue. The OH-58A rotor provides exceptional maneuverability, G capability. This is best visualized by looking at the rotor thrust or lift which the Kiowa rotor can produce at sea level and at higher density altitudes. Now compare this with the normal operating gross weight range from 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. The envelope between the lines can be called a maneuver margin. At sea level, the Kiowa has a 2.1 G capability. At the 5,000 foot density altitude level, the OH-58A still has a 1.9 G capability on the observation mission. For the scout mission, pilot and gunner plus 200 pounds of equipment, but with the addition of the XM-27E1 gun kit and 2,000 rounds of 7.62 ammunition. Even with these weapons, the OH-58A is still within its design gross weight of 3,000 pounds. The Kiowa has an excellent weapons capability, and this enhances its mission performance potential. It is a surprisingly stable gun platform for a light helicopter. In Hover, the Kiowa meets the requirement, the most demanding ever for a light helicopter. For the observation mission at 95 degrees, it can hover at 2,000 feet out of ground effect or 5,000 feet in ground effect. In the scout role, it exceeds the 6,000 foot out of ground effect standard day requirement. 
In order to relate the Kiowa with the current helicopter army inventory, consider the following. It has performance almost identical to the UH-1H, the latest and most powerful member of the Huey series. On a 95 degree day at various altitudes, let's compare the hover capability of the OH-58A with the UH-1H. Both out of ground effect and in ground effect at the same percent of maximum gross weight, the two helicopters show virtually identical hovering performance. In observation and scouting missions, the Kiowa will interface nicely with the Huey Cobra. Working in teams, these helicopters can locate and destroy hostile ground forces. Of course, speed is important to all LOH missions. Not only level flight speed, but also dive speed when needed. The OH-58A has a 10 to 20 knot speed margin between normal crews and allowable dive speeds, a considerable tactical advantage. An outstanding feature of the Kiowa is its high inertia rotor. This translates into excellent auto rotation capability Situations which could produce crashes in other LOH aircraft become routine auto-rotations in the OH-58A. For example, here's a throttle shop from normal crews at low altitude. Now the pilot has a choice. Watch the split screen. At the top, he simulates a situation where he must do a 360-degree turn and land in a clearing at the point where the auto-rotation was initiated. In the bottom sequence, he elects to continue straight ahead to a clear area for landing nearly a mile away from the point of entry. For both situations, the high inertia rotor permits easy auto rotation to a zero speed touchdown. Now let's simulate an actual situation. Scout mission. Low level, over the trees. Engine out. There's a small clearing ahead. Even at maximum gross weight, the Kiowa carries its crew over half a mile to land safely and fly again. With its responsive maneuverability, high payload, and broad performance spectrum, the OH-58A will expand the scope of the Army's current LOH missions. It is a helicopter that will continue our heritage of Army aviation, support for the fighting man on the ground.